This governor is warning people to prepare for a worst case scenario when Hurricane Irma hits the U.S. mainland on Sunday. Many Floridians are headed north to escape the wrath of Irma, and Alabama is getting ready to welcome them in. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff in the newsroom tonight with different ways people here are trying to help out. Jim, as you mentioned earlier, the Gadsden Regional Medical Center said patients will start arriving there this evening from the Lower Keys Medical Center down in Key West. And this Friday, Birmingham's Legion Field is going to host what was supposed to be Florida International University's first football game of the season. As for those who haven't quite made up their mind about evacuating, local business owners want them to know they're here to help. When it comes to preparedness, Fort Myers resident Megan Steinke isn't taking any chances. We have storm shutters up. We have our sandbags um, lining the house. Especially when it comes to her two dogs. They are literally my pride and joy. They're both therapy dogs. Which is why they're the most important part of her emergency plan. Their safety is my absolute number one concern. Just seeing some of those dogs nearly submerged as they're being carried by their owners or by their rescuers out of the water. I don't remember what picture, but one of the pictures just spoke to me. Steinke is far from the only Floridian who would do anything to protect their four-legged family members. Thank you for those good kisses. Here in Alabama, Jackie Hale is already getting calls from them. South Florida all the way up to Gulf Shores. She owns the Canine Country Club in Columbiana and knows how hard an emergency plan can be when pets are involved. You're not going to leave them behind because they're your family members. So I uh, read so many stories of you know, people that were literally drowning trying to save their pets in Houston. She wants to make the decision to leave home easier for those who might be on the fence because of Fido. So she's offering a discount to Irma evacuees. I can't give a million dollars to the Red Cross um, to help down, you know, with, with aid, but this is a little thing that we can do uh, that if I can provide their pet with a safe place that they feel good about leaving their dog. Mayor William Bell's office also tells CBS 42 that Birmingham will prepare to house evacuees if the city is called upon to do so. Live in the newsroom, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.